This example will be talking about probabilities with the words at least or at most in their questions. It says given the following probability distribution of people with siblings in a certain town. And x is our random variable of telling me how many people or how many siblings, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that our probability of that happening is given as a decimal in each case. Okay, let's look at the first question. If a person is randomly selected, what is the probability that a person has at least two siblings? Well, let's talk about the definition of at least. At least means that number or more. So it's that value or more. Okay, and while we're at it, we must talk about at most. It means that value, that's the largest we can have, at most means that's the top. So it's that value or less. Okay. All right, if a person is randomly selected, what's the probability that a person has at least two siblings? So at least two means two or more. So if we go to our chart, here's two siblings, three or four or five. Now I'm gonna say it again, two or three, or four, or five. That word or means that we're going to be using the addition rule and we're going to be adding the probabilities. So we're going to take the probability of having two plus the probability of three plus the probability of four plus the prob probability of five. So if we add these together, 0.24 plus point one, two, and I'm getting everything out of the chart here, plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.02. If we add them together, and again, we're going to be using our calculator, we get 0.46 or 46%. So there's a 46% probability that if we ask a person randomly selected if they have at least two, we will have a 46% chance in doing that. Okay, our next one is if a person is randomly selected, what is the probability that the person has at most three? At most means that value or less. So let's go ahead and erase what we've circled. So we could have three, or we could have two, or we could have one, or we could have zero. So there's that or again. So again, we're gonna be adding oops, our probabilities. And we come up with 0.12 plus 0.24 plus 0.26 plus 0.28. Adding them together, we get 0.9 or 90%. Okay, so let's go down to our next example. It says, if a person is randomly selected, what is the probability that the person has at least one? Okay, so let's go back up, erase what we had before. At least one means that value or more. So we could have one or two or three or four or five. Now, we could go ahead and go through this and add up all those probabilities. And as a matter of fact, for question number one, we said at least two, and that gave us two, three, four, and five. All we would have to do is add one to that to get our answer. So let's just quickly do that to see one way of doing it. So again, we already calculated two, three, four, and five with the first question. We're just gonna add our one in to 0.46. So we end up with 72% or 0.72. So let me take the 0.46 plus the probability of the 1, 0.46 plus 0.26, and again, I'm getting that from our chart, and we get 0.72. Now that would be one way, is we would add up all of them. Now because we had that information from number 1, it was pretty simple, but if we didn't, we would have to take probability of 1, probability of 2, probability of 3, and so forth and we would get 
the 0.72. But there's an easier way, and that's the way we're going to talk about it, is using a complement. Because if we want to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then it wouldn't it be simpler just to take the 0 that we don't need and take it out of the total, and that'll tell me what was left. So that'll kind of like group all of these together, which is what we want. So that's the understanding of a complement, is to taking 1 minus the probability of what we don't want to give us the probability of what we do want. So 1 minus, well, the probability of what we don't want is we don't want 0. So that's 0.28. So if we take 1 minus 0.28, we get 0.72, which is exactly what it would have been had we added them all together to get the probability in the original sense. Okay, so this is using the complement. And let's look at our final question, if a person is randomly select, selected, what is the probability that the person has at most four? Okay, well, let's go back, erase what we did, and at most means that value or less, so four, three, two, one, or none. Now here we go, there's another example of where we can use our complement, because we want this total, this is what we want. But 5 is what we don't want. So this is the not. So what we can do is we can say 1 minus getting the probability of 5, what we don't want, will give us the probability of at least 4. Well, that's 1 minus. Let's go back again and look. 0.02, so 0.02 is 0.98, so 98% of the people have at most four siblings, and that's what we wanted, at, at most four, sorry about that, will give us the probability that at most four. So. This is the probability of 5. We take it away. That gives us the probability of at most 4.